As we mark the 100th anniversary of this massacre, Cronkite News reporter Tina Giuliano spoke with an ASU professor who had a personal connection to this history. 100 years ago, violence flooded the streets of Tulsa, Oklahoma, after a black shoe shiner was accused of assaulting a white elevator operator. Now, years later, people are finding their connection to the tragedy and remembering this piece of history. ASU professor Olga Davis learned early that there were some things her family didn't want to talk about, but her dissertation led her to dive into her family's history at the Tulsa Race Massacre. I didn't know much about it because during the time of my childhood, I was always told, never ask your father about your grandfather. After talking with her 104-year-old aunt a few years ago, she was a little girl at the time that the race riot happened. Davis found that her grandfather was a doctor, and during the riots, he had to go out into the streets and identify the dead. So they tagged him with some sort of um, note that said he was protected by the police or some way that they were able to identify him, that he was a tagged medical person. For the past few decades, Davis has been putting the pieces of this tragedy together, despite the hesitancy from her family to dredge up old memories. So they didn't really talk about it because it was an embarrassment. Because also when you talk about something, you relive it. It's traumatic. ASU professor Rashad Shabazz said the leaders in Tulsa, along with trauma and threats from other citizens, effectively buried this piece of history. Um, destroyed evidence. They didn't do a lot of uh, reporting. It was evacuated in large part from public memory. Shabazz said he hopes that President Biden's acknowledgement of this dark time in our past opens up conversations. Uh, I would like to see him stand on the side of reparations for the people of Tulsa. And I would really like him to open up a conversation for what reparations looks like for the descendants of slaves. For Davis, she'll continue to put the pieces of this history together. I hope we also say that as a nation, we shall never forget what happened to Tulsa. According to Shabazz, information about this tragedy began to come out after the 1995 bombing in Oklahoma City. Since then, TV series like Watchmen and Lovecraft Country, as well as articles from people like Davis, have shed a light on the massacre. In the Broadcast Center, Tina Giuliano, Cronkite News.